I just, uh, I don't know why I joined the Navy. I can't even swim. <laughs> I was a gunnery uh, instructor to the uh, would-be turret people that were uh, manning the guns. It was my job to know what the enemy played, to know the speed of them, and uh, how to get them if you're going to shoot at them. I lost my hearing, I guess, with all the gunneries, you know, they were shooting and everything like that, but uh, I think that's where my hearing went. Somebody suggested the VA, and so that's where we started, right at the VA. There was a lot of trial and error with Miss Hartley. We gave her a mini mic for her daughter to wear on her collar. So when she spoke into the little microphone, it would stream directly into Dorothy's hearing aids. And she spoke into the microphone from just down the hall a little bit. She wasn't even in the room. How's she doing? And Dorothy looked up at me and said, I hear her. I hear her. And it was just, it was the best. You know, it gave you goosebumps. And I think everybody just teared up. Can you hear me pretty good, Dorothy? Yeah, no, that's a small. They sound pretty good. Nice yeah. and clear. Yeah. The thing that a lot of people don't understand about hearing loss and hearing aids is there is an, an adaptation period to it, and it's not one and done. It does require multiple visits for some patients, and that's one of the reasons it's so great that we had the ability to see her in Key West because she wouldn't have been able to make the trips that were necessary to get her finally hearing as well as she is now. I think the VA in Key West is very good. They are very helpful. And uh, it's close at hand, and uh, I just couldn't say enough about the VA.